Today I'm reviewing and testing the Nylight E30 LED headlight. This light is consistently in the top 20 of Amazon's best-selling LED headlights. How does it perform? We're going to find out. Hello again everyone and welcome to Car Light Reviews. If you've never been here before, I perform consistent automotive light tests to help you make the best purchase decision. Nylight makes a few different LED headlight models and I see a couple of them on the top 20 of Amazon's best sellers list for headlights once in a while. And that list is always changing, but if you want, I'll put a link to it and you can check it out in the description. Now this one here is known as the E30, but Nylight's model numbers aren't always easy to locate, so I just refer to it as the blue version because of the box color. I picked this one up for us to check out together. And like my other test, I'm going to do an introduction, unboxing, go over the published specifications, cover some of the features, and then I'll test the brightness and light pattern for both projector and reflector housings to see how it performs. Let's take a look. Comes with anti-static gloves. And then in here is a manual, some double-sided tape for the drivers. Oh, and some zip ties for the cables if you need them. Basic information, but just like all the other lights, it is plug and play. Replace the old one, insert the new one, check your owner's manual if you need to. And here it is. Let's go over the published specifications. 35 watts each, 7,000 lumens each, color temperature of 6,500K, it has a CSP chip, it has an IP rating of 67 and an hour rating, which is the standard 50,000 that we see across most lights. It does have an adjustable collar. It is fan cooled. It does have an external driver. The warranty on this is two years and the price per pair at the time of this video before any discounts is $39.99. So let's talk about my initial observations. Overall, when I look at this, I see a pretty standard design. There's nothing outrageous or wild about it, and there's not really anything wrong with that. It looks pretty average, and you're going to hear me use the word average a few times in this review video. Now, according to the specs, it does have a very, very thin copper board that the chips mount to. They say that it's just 0.04 inches thick, so that's kind of on the impressive side. Overall, the feel and materials... Is decent it, it feels pretty standard it's all metal it doesn't feel cheap but it does feel affordable for the $40 price point it just feels average but now it's time to see how the light output is and see how it performed and when it comes to LED headlight testing here's the equipment I use and how I use it for projector testing I made a test rig using a 2017 Toyota Camry H11 headlight projector and for reflector testing, I use an H11 headlight from a 2018 Ford F-150. I use these specifically because they are among the best-selling vehicles in America for over 20 years and are the most common on the road. I'll power the lights using a benchtop power supply, and I'll position the lights hotspot onto a lux meter that is 20 feet away, mounted on my garage door. I'll record the initial brightness and then again after 27 minutes to document how well the light manages heat. I use 27 minutes because that's the average commute time in the United States. My tests aren't for lux number accuracy, but for comparison to a stock H11 halogen bulb, which measures 725 projected lux and 910 reflected lux using my test method. Different tests in different environments will give you different results. So if you want to do the same tests of your own, I list all of the equipment I use in the description of this video. Please check the description of this video for important notes on aiming your headlights, how to ensure you've picked the right headlight for your application, and the legality of replacing halogen headlight bulbs with LEDs. Now. Let's see how the Knopfsight E30 did in my testing. So far in my observations, this has been an average light. Until now. According to my tests, the projector output is a bit brighter than average. 1,437 lux. That's 712 over the halogen 725 lux. Nearly twice as bright. After 27 minutes, it retains, well, about the average. 82% of that light output, making it 1,173 lux, still 448 over halogen. Looking at the projector light pattern compared to stock, for the brightness that it puts out, it does a pretty good job controlling it. This light output pattern is also pretty much average. Are you seeing a trend here? It does have slight blurring at the top cutoff as well as a bit of a weak area here in the lower middle area, also average in my tests. So let's take a look at the reflector. 
Also above average is the reflector output numbers. 2,690 lux. That's 1,780 over the halogen 910 lux. And after 27 minutes, it is reduced to 2,196 lux, which is also 1,286 over halogen. And looking at the reflector light pattern compared to stock, I think that the reflector output control is just a bit above average here. It is pretty full and mimics the halogen light output closely. That's quite surprising for the higher output numbers. There is some variation here, but overall, it seems to control the reflector light very well. As mentioned, there is a published rating of 35 watts per light. I observed 24.8 in my testing. And for heat management, after 27 minutes, my laser thermometer recorded 129 degrees Fahrenheit for the main unit and 136 degrees Fahrenheit for the driver. Those temperatures are slightly above average, which may be a reason for the light output brightness. I mean, really, everything about the Nylite E30 pretty much screams average, except for the output and the reflector control. I was surprised by that reflector control, but it might be due to that previously mentioned 0.04 inch thick emitter board. I think overall this one is a bit of a sleeper. According to my tests for the money, this one's decent and worth looking into. I wonder how the other Nylite models do by comparison to this one. If you want to see me test them, let me know in the comments. Links to where you can buy the Nylite E30 are in the description, and you can also find a link in the description to a free spreadsheet that I update with every video release that shows the specs and results of all the lights I've tested so far, so you can compare this light to the other ones in one easy view. And I've got a Patreon page, so if you found this video helpful or entertaining or valuable, check it out and learn how you can support this channel and help me make more videos just like this one for it. If that's not something you want to do now, please subscribe, hit the bell, and let me know you want to see more. I've got more coming, average of one each week. And if you have a suggestion on what I should test in the future, please leave a comment and I'll check into it. As always, thanks so much for watching. I hope this video helps you to find the right lighting upgrades for your needs so you can enjoy your car more. Keep your headlights aimed and drive safely, responsibly, and respectfully.